हे गाइज हर शेयर एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोलो दिस इज द रियल मी टेन प्रो प्लस फाइव जी लॉन्ग नेम बट एन अपग्रेड टू द रियल मी नाइन प्रो प्लस फाइव जी विच वॉज वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट स्मार्टफोन अंडर थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम रियल मी डिड एन इंक्रेडिबल जॉब विद रियल मी नाइन प्रो प्लस स्पेशली विद कैमरा डिपार्टमेंट दैट स्मार्टफोन इज स्टिल वन ऑफ द बेस्ट आउट देर इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैमराज बट दिस इयर विद टेन प्रो प्लस फाइव जी रियल मी इज फोकसिंग ऑन समथिंग इंटायरली डिफरेंट एंड दैट इज द डिस्प्ले With this smartphone, you get a 120 Hz AMOLED curved display. Yes, a curved display at this price point. Now, when it comes to curved versus flat displays, there is a split vote over here. Some people prefer curved displays because of the way they look, and some people prefer flat displays because of accidental touches on the curved displays. I am a person who enjoys both. I like flat displays, and sometimes I prefer curved displays as well. But I'll say one thing: Realme has done an excellent job with the 10 Pro Plus 5G with the curved display. Like this curved display is awesome. It's a 120 Hz Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 10 bit color, and honestly, because of the curve, the entire smartphone feels very comfortable to hold. Like when I held it for the first time, my first impressions were like, "Wow, this smartphone is extremely comfortable," and that also is because of the weight of this smartphone. It weighs only 173 grams, despite having a 5000 mAh battery. Because of the curve, it is extremely comfortable to hold, and it is lightweight as well. And yeah, one more thing, because of the curve, this smartphone feels extremely premium. Like as soon as you hold it you will feel like you are holding a premium smartphone but the back panel over here is polycarbonate or plastic and not glass so please make a note of that now as far as the camera module design goes i am in two minds sometimes i like it but sometimes i just don't like it because it is huge and not my type at all i like minimal designs and this is not that it stands out it embraces the camera module and you guys let me know what do you feel about the camera module design in the comment section down below under the hood this smartphone comes with a mediatek diamond city 1080 processor it's a 6 nanometer processor and the performance is supposed to be very good for the price segment in which this smartphone is launching i am expecting somewhere around 25 to 30000 and in that price range the diamond city 1080 is a good processor the entire experience of using this smartphone has been smooth so i have been only using it for a couple of days so these are my initial impressions i will talk more about the performance in the full review which will be coming very soon in a couple of weeks on the ram side you get up to 8 gb of lp ddr 4x ram and on the storage side you get up to 256 gb of ufs 2.2 storage so that is kind of disappointing it should have been ufs 3.1 because ufs 3.1 is faster and will give better performance so i don't know why it is ufs 2.2 it should have been ufs 3.1 but anyway if we talk about the software you get realme ui 4.0 out of the box based on android 13 That is excellent you get Android 13 out of the box and the security patch is November 5 2022 so Realme has done a good job over here launching the smartphone with Android 13 so yeah big fat thumbs up for that but there is always a but this smartphone has a lot of bloatware which is pre installed applications like as soon as i set up this smartphone there were a lot of pre installed applications and i do not appreciate it at all so if someone from realme is watching this you need to reduce the amount of pre installed applications or bloatware it is extremely annoying i do not want share chat moj and what not in my smartphone so please from next time onwards take this feedback But on a brighter note, Realme UI 4.0 is very good in terms of the user experience. It is fast, it is smooth, has a ton of customization and useful features as well. So I really like Realme UI 4.0. The entire software is good. It just has a little bit of bloatware. So if you remove the bloatware, the experience will be awesome. It's time to talk about the cameras. So on the rear side you get three cameras, a 108 megapixel primary camera and 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and finally a macro lens. So here are some photos with the Realme 10 Pro plus 5G. Initial impressions are good about the cameras, especially the main camera. Dynamic range is good because of the HDR mode. Shadows and highlights are exposed in a good way. The photos are detailed, the colors are good and overall the image is pleasing to the eye. But is it better than Realme 9 Pro plus? Well that only time will tell. I am going to do a dedicated comparison between Realme 9 Pro Plus and Realme 10 Pro Plus in terms of the cameras so stay tuned for that video and if you want it faster then please let me know about that in the comment section down below on the front side of things you get a 16 megapixel shooter and here are some sample photos from the front camera as well again a good front camera the selfies look great from the Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G now as i said these are only my initial impressions more on the camera will come in the full review as far as the battery goes you get a 5000 mAh battery and 67 watt fast 
fast charging. And the cherry on the cake, you get the charger inside the box. You don't have to pay extra for the charger, it is included inside the box. All in all, Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G is a solid smartphone and looks extremely premium. That's the main thing with this smartphone. It looks extremely premium with the curved display, the design and how light it is. So if you were looking for a premium experience at a lower price, then you can consider the Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G. I will drop a link to buy it in the description box below. So anyway, that's been it. Do let me know what do you feel about this video in the comment section down below. If you like this content, go ahead and that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. My name is Arsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.